If you need to transfer music from your old iPod to new Apple products such as iPhone, iPad, etc., you most likely are going to have to spend some money. However, I made a video three years ago that still works for many people, but it may not work for everyone. For this reason, if you can afford it, I'm going to show you one of the best options that I have found. My name is Weds. Here's how to do it. So because Apple discontinues all iPod products, so now you have issues trying to transfer your music from your old iPod. In any case, we're going to use an, a software called iMazing. And we're also going to use the streaming app called Apple Music that most people use nowadays for their device like your iPhone or Android device. You can have an Android device and you can still use the Apple Music app and you can use your all your iCloud stuff on that device, even if it's on Android. So for this software, it is going to cost you some money, but you can have a trial version that will only allow you to transfer 50 songs. So if you have more than 50 songs, so you're going to have to pay for it. Now, the price is going to be different for what you're trying to do. You can have a subscription, but you can also have a one-time purchase for about $60. So this one right here will allow you three devices that you can use if you so choose. But there are some other alternatives that you can use if you don't want to use this app. There are some other ones. Now, there is... This link right here, I'm going to leave in the description for you. There are some software that it shows you that you can try. They have different prices. They all pretty much do the same thing. It's just that the ones that I'm going to use today is the best option that I found because it, things were a lot easier. And there is also this one that is called Wondershare Mobile Trends. I've used Wondershare product before. They are a very good brand. So if you want to do this, you can also just check the price and see if you like it. So I'm just showing you some other option regardless. So we're going to go with iMazing today. So let me go back. And this is the website. Link will be in the description for you if you decide you want to use this. So we're going to go to Apple Music. We're going to download it. We're going to make sure we download it. And if you buy iMazing, just make sure you download it. Once both software is downloaded onto your computer, I am using a Windows version 11. So depends on which version you use, your process is probably going to be different. It's probably going to look different from what you are seeing right now. So we're going to go to iMazing. So I already downloaded this software. Now, once you open the iMazing software, you're going to see your old iPod. It's going to recognize it automatically because the software is good like that. Then you're going to go to your software and then you can either transfer your whole library or you can just transfer one playlist. For this example, I'm going to transfer one playlist to make things go faster. So I'm going to transfer this one right here so now on the bottom of the software you're going to have an option to export whatever you want to export whether you're going to export your whole library or whether you're going to export that one playlist so for our example we are going to export that one playlist so i'm going to click on it you're going to have the option to export to itunes or export to a folder so you don't want to deal with iTunes, but if you decide you want to export to iTunes, then you can click on it. Now, you're going to have an option that say iMazing cannot export media to the Microsoft Store version of iTunes. So most likely you probably have the Microsoft iTunes version. So they want you to download it from the iTunes website. If you decide to use iTunes, that is. But for this example, we're going to stay away from using iTunes. So we're going to say no thanks. And then we're going to go back to export and we're going to go to export to folder. So when we click on this one, you're going to see you have the option to either transfer your whole library or you can just transfer that one folder that we talked about. And 
it's going to organize in folders with artists and album is going to transfer this because we're going to transfer them to the Apple Music software. And uh, we're going to click next. Now here, you're going to have the option to create a folder so we can just make a new folder. And then we're going to give the new folder a name. We're going to call it iMazing Transfer. And then we're going to say, OK. So everything is going to be copied into that folder. So now once that is done, we are done with iMazing. So we're going to minimize this. Now that we have the folders that we created with the music in it. So we're going to open the Apple music software or streaming app. So once you go in there, just go to playlist. You make sure you make a new playlist. That's the best way to do this. We're going to do drag and drag. That's the best way we're going to do this. So we're going to create a new playlist and we're going to give it a name. And then we're going to just go create. Just remember the folder that you created. So we're going to go and open that folder. We just make sure that folder is open. It's open right here. And then this is the folder that we want to drop in it. So we're going to just going to drag and drop. And then it's going to copy everything and put it in your Apple Music streaming app. So this is how you get this done. Now, from there, you can decide whether you want to manage this app to create new playlists, reorganize your songs or whatever you want to do. But this is the best way that you can do this. Now, once you look at the folder, a lot of time people ask, how come I don't see the art? So you got to give it some time for the art to actually show. Sometimes the art may not show at all, but it all depends. But most likely with this new software that we just use, it will show the art for the music and whatnot. So this is basically all you need to know. Again, this is how this works. You're going to have to pay some money if you value your music. But if you can find a free version of something that can do the same thing, then just go for the free stuff. But for if you really value your music and you can't find any other solution, this might be the best solution for you. Hopefully this is helpful to you. Leave any questions and comment in the comment section. I will try my best to answer and hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.